Dear friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are all doing well. Today I want to discuss the passing package and important questions for the mechanics of materials mom subject for the mechanical engineering stream. Okay, third semester. Its subject code is BME301. So this is the subject where uh, I can say that it is a 50-50-50 theory and 50 uh, problematic. Okay, so this is the subject uh, in which you cannot neglect the problematic part. Okay, so that becomes very important in this subject. You have to be good in the problems itself. Okay. So first of all, let us discuss the theoretical uh, concepts, theoretical questions, which are the most important one. Okay, let us take the model first, which is the easier one, and it is the passing module over here. Okay, so first question is the relationship between Young's modulus, rigidity modulus, and Poisson's ratio. Okay, uh, it is denoted by E. Uh, Young's modulus is denoted by E, and uh, rigidity modulus is uh, denoted by G, and Poisson's ratio, same sigma. Okay, so E, G and Sigma and also relationship between Young's modulus, bulk modulus and Poisson's ratio. So in between the uh, these two uh, relationships, definitely one the VT will ask for there. Okay, so these are the important ones. Next is the state Hooke's law draw and expand stress strain diagram for the mild steel indicating all salient points. It is again an important, super important question. Okay, which includes uh, what we call the brittle and ductile material also means sometimes they will give the uh, brittle and ductile you have to draw the stress strand diagram for brittle and ductile materials okay so mostly they will ask the mild steel so this is again an important one and very easier part to understand over there okay maybe you may, might be aware of this state Hooke's law as in the first semester itself it was in the physics over there okay so next is the properties of materials like Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio, ductility, stress, toughness, brittleness, elasticity, plasticity okay you need to uh, at least write one line for these uh, properties of materials as there will be uh, six marks question will be there for the properties of materials so one one line is enough to explain this these uh, types of properties over there right so next is the derive an expression for the total extension of the tapered circular bar tapered circular bar subjected to an axial load p again an important derivation next is the principle of superposition so this is the possibility of questions in the module first okay let us discuss now module second which is the thin and thick cylinders it is again in passing module okay so later on i will discuss the which problems you should prefer over there which are the easier ones comparatively if you want to score so derive an expression for circumferential stress and longitudinal stress for a thin cylinder subjected to an internal pressure p most important this i can call super important question from the model second okay so expression for the circumferential stress and longitudinal stress okay next is derive lamy's equation and state the assumptions made while considering thick cylinder okay so you have to go through this derivation also lamy's equation for the thick cylinders these are the two questions which are important from this model second now in the model fifth which is also a uh, passing module why passing module just because uh, in this uh, particular module problems are easy column problems okay later on i will come to that so first let us uh, discuss the whole theory which can come in the these uh, types of modules over here next is state assumptions made in euler's column theory and also limitations euler's equation of a column means uh, there are some derivations some expressions are there which you have to focus on four are there actually but i have taken three which are the most important ones and you have to care of them so both ends fixed both ends hinged and one end fix one end hinged okay so you have to derive the equations for a column for these uh, particular types next is expression for stress uh, strain st uh, strain energy due to bending shear okay so expression for shear energy due to bending and shear over there these are the expressions which may come from the model fifth next is model four in which uh, you have to uh, focus on derive the to uh, torsional equation for a circular shaft with usual notations it is important question dear friends and state the assumptions made in the pure torsion so next is prove that hollow shaft is stronger and stiffer than the solid shaft for the same material prove that uh, weight of the hollow shaft is less than solid shaft okay next is maximum principal stress theory it is also called as Rankine's theory and also maximum shear stress theory you have to focus on which is also called as stress cause theory okay these are the uh, theory questions which may be which may come in the uh, v2 examination okay most important ones as i have analyzed it from the previous year papers itself so definitely these will be there next is the module 3 uh, derive bending equation with usual notation and assumptions most important one from the model third okay as there is less 
theoretical part over there next is some definitions uh, they may ask for five marks so what are beams and write down the types of beams uh, similarly in the or part they will ask what are loads and explain the types of loads okay and also supports types of supports this this may be the possibility of theory over there okay now let's come to the problematic part and also one uh, expression from here so expression for intensity of load shear force and bending moment this was the theory uh, portion which you have to cover in the mom subject so that you will uh, find some easiness to cover this subject okay so pro as far as problems are concerned so as for my experience i will just prefer you go through the model first problems which consists of stepped bar problems okay which are very easier one at least you have to practice three problems from this okay and also tapered bar problems and uh, problems on principle of superposition very simpler ones if you just go through you can find easiness in these problems over there okay so this is the uh, easier module to cover over there for problems if you want to pass dear friends i'm just saying that if you are searching for the passing so model third cannot be the passing one but model fifth column problems are easy in which uh, there are i sections and t sections if you just go through so you will find easy problems in this uh, part also okay next is the model 4 that is problems on hollow shaft problems on solid shaft and straight and stepped shaft and these are also easier ones so for your passing package you should go through problems from this part that is model 1 model 5th and model 4th okay so remaining modules if you want to score if somebody wants to score in the mom subject so they have to go for the thin cylinder problems also thick cylinder problems also okay from model second and model third uniformly distributed load there are a lot of varieties of problems in this and uniformly varying load and simply supported beam carrying and uniformly distributed load udl you have to draw sfd and bmd for these type of uh, what we call loads over here okay they will give the diagram so accordingly you have to draw sfd and bmd this may be the 14 marks sometimes they are giving a 14 marks question from sfd bmd sometimes 20 marks it depends upon the luck over there they may give the one uh, five marks theory and uh, 15 marks sfd bmd question over there and sometimes 10 marks okay so it depends upon the uh, uh, paper setter how he sets the paper over there okay so i hope this much content will definitely help you in the examination make sure you will cover cover all those theory concepts which i uh, just told you before so then after you can come to the problematic part so cover at least from module one module fifth and module fourth if you find easiness in these uh, modules over here okay so this much content will definitely help you in the examination so make sure you will cover that all uh, theoretical portions which i discussed in this video and make sure you will just share uh, this video to your all friends who actually need it so all the best for your examination